Hello and welcome to Herald TV News Bulletin with me, Orina. Various irregularities taking place inside the Made Wildlife Sanctuary and its periphery have come to light in a special investigation carried out by Herald TV. While Goans are fighting to save the water of the Made, trees are being chopped by unknown people to grow commercial crops. Illegal sand mining is taking place at various areas. Some locals have even banned the entry of forest department officials. We will be highlighting various such issues through our new investigative show, Ground Zero, every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Do watch. While Goans are up in arms on one hand to ensure water from the river Madhe is not diverted to Karnataka, there is now fresh trouble brewing inside the protected Madhe Wildlife Sanctuary in Valpoi and surrounding areas. In a special investigation carried out by Herald TV, videographic evidence showcases how forests are cleared to grow commercial trees besides illegal sand mining being undertaken in the lush jungle areas and much more. An in-depth investigation by Herald TV from multiple areas inside the Madhe Sanctuary and also the surrounding areas has revealed how trees are cleared to grow commercial plants such as cashew and areca nut. Not just that, sand is being mined from the riverbanks of the sanctuary without any permission too. Heaps and heaps of sand, both in large and small quantities, are found along the riverbanks, all sifted and ready to be sold to the highest bidder at a premium, minus any regulation. One of the key important problems that the mother faces today is the cutting down of the vegetation within the wildlife sanctuary and then you have trees such as cashew nuts as well as beetle nuts that are grown in its place. This is definitely uh, not allowed but you have several people who do so. Uh, towards my right is in fact a plantation where you have beetle nuts that have been planted. There were uh, earlier in, uh, very important trees that, that are part of the ecosystem of the Madhe Wildlife Sanctuary but all of that has been now chopped. A few meters behind me, there as you see, are multiple honeycombs where you have honeybees which are an important indicator as far as the environment is concerned. And just as you see as trees are continuing to be cut, it is definitely an imminent danger to these uh, honeybees. There you see trees that have been burnt. This took place some time ago. Now I've been speaking to some of the villagers Although they are not ready to come on camera, what they have been telling us is that yes, there are certain elements or certain other villagers who burn these trees, um, you know, regularly. And after that, the modus operandi works as such. What they do is during the monsoons, they will chop these trees. The logs are then thrown into this water, into one of the tributaries of the Made, which then makes its way along um, the rough streams. After that, you have trees such as the cajunet trees, which are then brought in and planted at various places here for their commercial value. All of this is being done without any permission or without any monitoring systems. So at the end of the day, the key question being asked is that who all are part of this entire racket? Fresh tire marks of trucks and other four wheelers reveal another sign of abuse and exploitation, illegal sand mining. In the absence of monitoring systems and the almost invisible presence of forest guards, Mother is being looted and plundered. Three persons have been arrested from Chimbel for allegedly murdering a person in the locality. The incident happened late Thursday night. One Balu Manjunath Gounder was stabbed to death by Pratiksha, Nilima, Lingnath and Hemant Palkar over a family dispute. Police investigation is on. The three have been arrested in connection of a murder case at Chimbel. The police have arrested Pratiksha, Nilima, Lingat and Heyman Palkar for allegedly abusing the wife of the complainant with bad words and threatening her. The accused further allegedly assaulted their minor son with slaps and pelted stones due to which he sustained head injuries. Further, they attacked the complainant's brother-in-law, one of the accused, namely Lingant, allegedly stabbed him on the chest due to which he died. Police investigation is on. It's a Herald TV Bureau report. Increase in excise duty consecutively for 10 years has affected the liquor business in the coastal tourism state of Goa badly. 
expecting a resolution, the All Goa Liquor Traders Association demanded before the government to rethink and reduce the liquor duty, especially on foreign liquor. All Goa Liquor Traders Association met the State Excise Commissioner opposing the proposed notification allowing sale of liquor at Manohar International Airport. Watch this story. For the last 10 years, the duty of excise, the increase in liquor duty, has affected the liquor business badly in the coastal tourism state of Goa, says the All Goa Liquor Traders Association. The members said and demanded that the government should rethink and reduce the liquor duty, especially on foreign liquor. They also met the state excise commissioner opposing the proposed notification allowing sale of liquor at Manahor International Airport. The association president, Datta Prasad Naik, told the media after meeting the excise commissioner that the attempts are made to issue government notification giving powers to chief minister to issue liquor li selling licenses at the prohibited places. They also said that if the notification is being issued to allow Mumbai-based wine shop Baron to put up shop at the Manohar International Airport with an excuse that it would boost tourism. He said that it was such an attempt was made to have liquor shops at Dabalim Airport in 2012, which was scrapped by then CM Manohar Parikar after protest from the association. The association also alleged that Mumbai-based wine shop group is trying to make entry in the state through such action. He said that presently there are 3,067 wine shops which are the members of the association and the association members claim that such act will hamper the existing wine shops who are already reeling under the increased taxation. Watch. The Goa Liquor Traders Association, the uh, uh, Wine Shops Association, uh, under which uh, Goichi 3,076 licenses of wine shops come under this association. And there are another 8,000 licenses which are uh, bar and restaurants. But apart from that, 3,076 G wine shops are that come under our association. And we, as Amka Sagan Khabarasa, who are the tourism status. And we, Goyan, if you have a quality of liquor, you can see that it's very good. And if you have a rate in the Bayer states, you can see that it's tourist and metal. But uh, fact, we have to say that we have gradually duty to increase the duty. Every year, 2%, 5% increase down. We have to say that the entire North India is going to survive. And we are at the mercy of a few South Indian states. We have to say that in the last assembly session, Towards the end of March, we announced that we have a duty on foreign liquor. But we have a lot of hardships in the North Indian So we are facing a lot of hardships. Most of the North Indian customers who are coming, they are just not buying from us due to the rate difference. The rates in the North Indian market is half than what it is over here. I mean, as I said, we are at the mercy of South India today. A story by Prasad Polji for Herald TV. Fishing ban began in the state from Thursday onwards. However, some fishing trawlers are still spotted in the deep sea from the Welsang coast. Now, the traditional fishermen and Gwinso Rampon Karatsu Ekwot have raised their voice over this. Speaking to media, the fishing community has demanded immediate action on monsoon ban violation, especially on trawlers which are still out at the sea of the Welsang coast. Watch. Now, the fishing community have raised their voice against the trawlers who have been still spotted in the deep sea from Welsang coast. The traditional fishermen have raised their voice over this speaking to media. The fishing community has demanded immediate action on the monsoon ban violation, especially on the trawlers which are still out in the sea of the Welsang coast. government a government has done so many illegalities and has done so many actions. Today, the boat has been closed and has been closed. Today, the boat has been closed and has been closed. And the boat has been closed. And the boat has been closed. The boat has been closed. The boat has been closed. The LED gun. 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 
धाकले पोटकार काबार जाए पुण क्या वरी काबार जाए तो कहीं को चिंती ना वो हम फिशरी मिनिस्टर जो फिशरी डिपार्टमेंट कहीं एक्शन ना आज वेलसांव बीचर आसा आई मॉन्सून बेन लगू जो पुण हिंगा भाई पोले जैर नियर बेट आयलैंड तिंगा दोन ट्रॉलर रापण मारता आता हि डिपार्टमेंट आहा या मेली को जाए आमी दोन दिस पैली प्रेस कॉन्फरन्स घी खुं बोट भाई दिखती जैर कायदो हाथी घी डायरेक्टर आसा या ना ये को जाए हिका फिशरीज मिनिस्टर संगले फूल टाइम डायरेक्टर दिवच आता हम मगता हि सर्विला मोन्तेरो पे आसा तेका ये फिशरमेन इंट्रस्ट ना जो तिने ताबड़ो रिजाइन कर फकत पोल्यूशन बोर्डान रोचे हम लाइफ काबार कर ना तुम्हें अनलिमिटेड इलिगलिटीज करता बोट ये दौरता इलिगल बोट मालपे बोट तुम्हें सोटा एलईडी लाइट दौरता तुम्हें सोटा भाई बोट पुणी हिंगा फिशरमेन बड़े आते एक्शन घेना सो हम मगता फिशरी मिनिस्टर ताबड़ोक हजेर कार्रवाई जा जो आज तो आता हम बोट थोड़े पाती थोड़े पाँव तेजेर ताबड़ोक एक्शन घे लाइसेंस सस्पेंड कर फिशरी डिपार्टमेंट मगता बोटो बर्सिंग बर्सिंग भोवता फिशरी मिनिस्टर आए जोक मारता आनी फिशरी डायरेक्टर आ तो हाँ हमको एक दिस पोन गए रोके पुलिस पुलिस हाटाए आनी वॉरंट को बोटिंग ये ताबड़ तू बोट अरेस्ट कर किरण बोरकर फॉर ऑल टीवी The Pondaites have given 15 days time for roofing of the KDC bus stand on a war footing failing which they have warned that they will protest in the rain. The commuters are facing hardship since over a year with no roofing to the KDC bus stand. They have criticized ministers for failure to complete the pending works of the KDC bus stand. It's been 15 days time that has been given for the roofing of KDC bus stand on war footing failing to which they have warned a protest. This is a protest that has won by the Ponta locals. The commuters are facing hardships since one year with no roofing at the KTC bus stand. They have won to stage an uh, agitation in the rain, criticizing four ministers for the failure of the complete pending of the KTC bus stand. Watch. Namaskar, Amirat Sapre, Kavar Saponda. But the worst time in Pakistan, I used to get the lawyer order. So, after 365 days passed, sale, on the road, the situation is just the same as it was. हंगा मंत्र गाड़ियों चेंज जो तक अठर पच्चीस लाख गाड़ियों मिलो पंगा ये परिस्थिति तीत उ जेना इश्यू हाईलाइट करता घता हमें खेत सुरवत जता ये वाइट दिता पोपा कारण लोग प्रतिनिधि निवड़ी दिल्ले आता तो लोक खाती तुम्हें वावरपे पर मीडिया कहीं तुम्हें संगे पड़ता जो दुर्दवी गोष्ट आता तक डेमोक्रेसी खंच शिलक ना अभी आज तरी दिता डेमोक्रेसी सोपले जमा अभी दिता मंत्रीपद घ अपने भूगें वेर का इतने कार्य तुम्हारे उल्ला आमको समाज के कहीं पड़ा तुम्हें फैमिली से पड़ा फैमिली राज कैसे वेर का हत्या तुम्हें गुंतले भुरफटले अच्छा कारण तुम्हारे हे बारीक प्रश्न जे हम समाज जे हम लोग त्रास करता जैसे कारण लोक जीव वतले अश्न आसा तुमका खंच दिसना खंच काकूट ये ना खुमका कलक तुमका ना कारण एक वर्ष जो वो बस स्टैंड वो आसा अजु तसोत उरला आता हलूह लोक आता हे तुम्हें काम सुरवत जाए आय पेंट मारला थोड़ा फार पेंट आता मारपा स्टार्ट के पत्र तो अजू दिष्टी पड़ना लोक आख्ते वत थीम सब हंगा वता रख रखा उबे रोन लोग गए आता पासान लोक हंगा ते रहा पड़ेगा क्या अभी प्रश्न आसो संजय नाइक फेहरा टीवी Mothers of the Goa Women's Forum advocating against tobacco organized an awareness campaign against the sale and consumption of tobacco on Wednesday. The purpose of this action was to raise awareness about the growing prevalence of tobacco use, particularly among young people and children. It is imperative to address this issue firmly in order to effectively curb it. Lorna Fernandez emphasized the need for schools and authorities to take proactive measures regarding tobacco sales. Mothers against tobacco A part of the Goa Women's Forum took the initiative to organize an awareness action on World Tobacco Day to draw the attention to the growing usage of tobacco among both local residents and market laborers in Goa. This event aimed to shed light on the detrimental impact of tobacco consumption on the economy and the health of the people in Goa. 
The member stated it is crucial for the police, health authorities, municipal councils and panchayats to take appropriate measures to address this issue effectively. Today is World No Tobacco Day, 31st May, and we are here from the Goa Women's Forum to create awareness actually. Uh, because there is a film festival going on, so we are here to create awareness. And recently we launched an initiative called Mothers Against Tobacco. Because when we did a small survey about people who were smoking, we found that a lot of the people who are smoking now had started smoking between the age of 10 and 12. So which was quite shocking and hence we uh, launched this movement of uh, Mothers Against Tobacco. So that we can create awareness amongst the mothers itself, how to recognize the children, whether their children are smoking and if they are addicted to give them, uh, get them help, you know, to, uh, from the counsellors and also cessation clinics which are set up in the north and south of Goa in the district hospitals. What was your demand now? Our demand at the present time is that uh, the government must set up a special uh, cell to look after the uh, anti-tobacco uh, areas, you know, under the Kotpa Act. Because at the moment, um, the uh, the doctors who are in in a particular department in South Goa, it's a ENT doctor in North Goa, it's a psychiatrist who has given made the nodal officers for North and South Goa. Which they have their own jobs to do, you know, and this is an addition. So maybe we should concentrate. If we need this movement to go ahead and we need children to stop smoking. And also we have a large migrant population that, cons that consumes tobacco. So if we need to concentrate on these areas, then a special cell needs to be set up just to deal with Kotpa. Bureau Report, Herald TV. Prices of commercial LPG cylinders have been slashed by Rs 8350 to Rs 1773 per unit of 19 kgs with immediate effect. However, there has been no revision in domestic cylinder prices. The price of commercial LPG cylinders have been slashed by Rs 83.50 to Rs 1773 per unit of 19 kgs with immediate effect. The oil marketing companies generally revise the LPG liquefied petroleum gas prices on the first day of every month. Domestic cooking gas prices vary from state to state depending on local taxes. Last month, petroleum and oil marketing companies lashed the price of commercial LPG cylinders by Rs 171.50 paisa. In April 2, there was a reduce of 91.50 per unit rupees. Petroleum and oil marketing companies had on March 11 this year hiked the price of commercial LPG cylinders by Rs 350.50 per unit and domestic LPG cylinders by Rs 50.00 per unit. The price of commercial cylinders was reduced the last time on September 1st last year by Rs 91.50. On August 1st, 2022, the price of commercial LPG cylinders were also reduced by Rs 36. Now, Herald TV spoke to several consumers in Goa and this is what they had to say over this reduction in price. I have a restaurant and I have a commercial cylinder price of so 83.5 less than Lila. So, what do you think about this comment? What do you think about this comment? I have a lot of 80 rupees, I have a lot of 80 rupees, I have a lot of 80 rupees. अन्य इतने वाड़े ही ले ऑलरेडी तो 82 कितने रिलीव आप बता देने पर है 83 या 83 बट इट गोज अप टू मार्च कम्स डाउन टू मार्च नाउ लेट्स सी बिकॉज़ एवरीथिंग इज़ बिकम एक्सपेंसिव गैस इज़ वन पार्ट इंग्रेडिएंट्स एवरीथिंग इज़ बिकम एक्सपेंसिव एंड वी कैन नॉट इंक्रीज़ आर प्राइसेस ऑफ़ द so, what is the third one? So, what do you think? I don't know. 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 ओके तो किधर प्राइस आन तुमका आता थर्ड सिलेंडर वाला मतलब किधर तेरे कस्टम हो मुझे तुमका कोई ना कोई तेरे तुमका तेरे यह जाता हमारा कर पाता है ना नो डेली डेली मैंने कुछ चेंज कर पाता है ना नो 
मेरी घर पर गार्ड दिस लगता ओके प्रॉब्लम ते नो अतो वाले मानो नो ते का पहले कमी दाने को ते कमी दाने ना नो ते कमी जस्ट घर पर जाते सो तुम का इस तरह के आनिंग खाई ना खाई तेरे कमी जाऊँ दे सो तुम का आनिंग रिलैक्स ओके अ स्टोरी बाय प्रसाद पोल्जी फॉर हेराल टीवी Several parts of Goa witnessed heavy showers on the first day of June, which gave relief from the hot summer. South Goa witnessed heavy showers with gusty winds, while the north received normal rainfall. On Thursday, Team Herald spoke to several people to know their reaction about the rainfall and also to know if they are ready for the monsoon. I'm ready to the monsoon. I want to see the monsoon when it's falling. Yeah. 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 Y
normally shut the last week of the May. But this year is shutting it yeah, Yesterday it was in heavily in Kolwa. Because shut it from one morning to the first day, then I went for the end. It was a heavy shower. It is windy, lightning is tender, from the trees we have to visit. So we have to clean up everything. In fact, we expected rain in month of June, but it will be later this year. In month, I mean, date of week, but it will be starting in Kerala. Yeah. Kerala will be starting in fourth day, so I have heard in the first. Fifth of June. Yeah, fourth day. And what are your expectations of this monsoon? Rain. Yeah. And the issues that people face, do you think that will lessen? The issues of people during monsoon, whether it's floods or... There are so many things in monsoon. People cultivate Cultivation in the field. Covering the earth. I put the mountains. It's a little bit. Now the edges are now people have put the open left. The little ones are tight. They are pretty prepared for mountains. Most of the houses are all perfect. And are you prepared personally? Sorry? Are you personally prepared for the mountains? Yes, of course. Yes. We are not coming like Muslim fish, unexpected dates. We are already prepared for June to now. Story by Sagun Gaude for Herald TV. On Thursday morning, it was a miraculous escape for a family in Velsau after a coconut tree fell on their car near Our Lady of Assumption Church at Velsau. The family members of Pedro Anthony Fernandez and Maria Satira Fernandez were in the car and had gone to attend a mass at the church when the tree fell on the car. The lady was trapped in the car. Watch. <laughs> हॉस्पिटल आज अकस्मत मोड़े तो गाड़ी एक माड पड़न हि गाड़ी चो आखी काबार चोलाशेन ये चोलाते भाषे देवान सबीन तक सालवा के हत भाई हत मे डिजलोकेट जाना कहीं जालना पुण ये चोलाते भाषे वो वो अपघा तो सो लोक मागता हुई को माड बाड आ रेनी सीजन स्टार्ट जला आदोड़ मोड़ जा कोणाले तर माड बी डेंजर सिच्युएशन जे हाय तेणी पंचायतक वि सांगोचे गरज पडले आमक जाय जले आमक सांगोचे आम्ही कातोरपाक वो किते हेल्प करपा आम तयार आहे किते वेल साऊ आऊ एज अ सोशल वर्कर मको जाते आहे काम केला इट्स किरण बोरकर फॉर हेराल्ड टीव्ही एंड दैट्स ऑल वी हैव इन टुडेज न्यूज़ बुलेटिन थँक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हेराल्ड टीव्ही फॉर मोर न्यूज़ अँड अलर्ट्स फॉलो अप ऑन ट्विटर एट @oheraldgoa एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब ऑन आवर YouTube चॅनल हेराल्ड टीव्ही Thank you and goodbye.